Breaking Obama link to GOP execution. This is huge. FreedomDaily.com. This is just so beyond sickening and perverse that it borders on the unbelievable. The Obama administration's National Security Council office, Ben Rhodes, actually had the audacity to post a death wish aimed at a top Republicans and government officials on Twitter earlier Thursday morning. This sick act, of course, drew some serious condemnation for Republican Congressman Steve Scalise from Louisiana, who was seriously wounded when a deranged Bernie bro, far left wing Democrat voter, decided to become a sniper and commit a terror attack earlier this year that wounded three and almost killed the congressman at a GOP congressional baseball game practice back in June. Rhodes was commenting on a photo from President Donald Trump's Instagram account that was reposted by fellow Obama administration official Dan Pfeiffer. The photo showed a joyous gathering of Vice President Mike Pence, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell standing next to President Trump in the Oval Office as they celebrate the, uh, celebrated the passage of the Republican tax overhaul bill the first major overhaul in 30 years. I hope this is a photo they use on the front page of the Times on the uh, day Trump is indicted by Dan Pfeiffer. And then Ben Rhodes adds this, and alongside the obits for Ryan McConnell and Pence. Isn't that nice? Steve Scalise, you may want to reconsider your rhetoric alongside the obits of Ryan McConnell and Pence. Rose, Rhodes tweeted out, keep in mind the fact that Ben Rhodes, who made this threat, not some left-wing keyboard commando based in his uh, grandmother's basement, he's an actual government official, an aide to the former Obama administration and President Obama himself. Imagine the crime these Republican lawmakers committed. They are actually letting us peons keep more of our own hard-earned money. How dare they? Off with their heads. CBS News reports House Majority Whip Representative Steve Scalise was at imminent risk of death when he arrived at a hospital Wednesday after sustaining a gunshot to his hip during uh, baseball practice in Alexandria, Virginia, his doctor said Friday. Well, this is older uh, evidence, but this is what took place back then. So let's get to the gist of all of this. Um, the president's meaning was, uh, President Trump said Friday, this was back then when this happened, that Scalise took a bullet for all of us when he was shot Wednesday morning at a congressional Republican baseball practice. The president's meaning was unclear as he made the comments at an event on Cuba policy in Miami, but Mr. Trump went on to say that because of him and the tremendous pain and suffering He's now enduring and he's having a hard uh, time, far worse than anybody thought our country will perhaps become closer, more unified, so important. Yeah, we saw how that wound up. So we all owe Steve a big, thank, big, big thank you, Trump added. It's uh, seriously time for government officials like this Rhodes character to be held to account for what they say. You can't just go around wishing for the death of people and just walk away without any repercussions. These people are supposed to set an example, but I'm pretty sure Twitter won't suspend his account the same way mine has been suspended multiple times because they don't like the truth posted on their platform if they don't agree with it. Yeah, they'll take it down. But they should be held responsible. You can't, as a representative, you know, uh, come out and, and uh, working in government and say these disgusting things. I mean, it's just not acceptable. And then you've got nut jobs living in their grandmother's basement that take this seriously and uh, decide, oh, let's act upon it. I mean, it's sickening. How could you say these things? I mean, you could dis disagree, but you don't threaten people with their 
with their lives and pray that they're dead or something. I mean, it's sickening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.